Today, I am keeping another promise to the American people by nominating Judge Neil Gorsuch to be of the United States Supreme Court. You've entrusted me with a most solemn assignment. Standing here in a house of history and acutely aware of my own imperfections, I pledge that if I am confirmed, I will do all my powers permit to be a faithful servant of the Constitution and laws of this great country. Well, we were having a margarita party at my house last night. I got started getting all these texts from people after my appearance on Hannity where they filmed me at my house. It's just one of those nights. I, I could not make it to the Fox Studios, so they sent the truck to my house. And Hannity's like, well, you seem like you're in a really good mood. I said, yeah. Think about this. We could have Harriet Myers on the Supreme Court, and we could have any number of horrid Hillary picks on the Supreme Court. And it demonstrates once again that the warriors for Trump were right. The never Trumpers were dangerous and completely out of their depth in understanding what was at stake for the country. And we have high hopes for Neil Gorsuch. But I was in a great mood. So, you know, we had the margaritas going. No, I didn't really have the margaritas going, but it felt that way. So all my neighbors started texting me last night. I think I had five neighbors texting me saying, well, we were going to go to bed, but we'll come over if there's, if you have still have the blender going. I thought, what? Can, did I really seem serious about that? Gosh, people probably thought it was half in the bag on Hannity. Did I seem that way, Drew, or no? Did I seem like I was... No, you seemed like you were very sarcastic okay. and joking now. Because I would Drew, not have taken you seriously, yeah, but I know you a little better than the yeah, average person. Drew, so. <laughs> Drew, has, Drew has been with me when right, we've been throwing exactly. back alcohol. When we've actually been me. doing yeah, it. Yeah, so when, when we... When sometimes we it's hard for me to keep up with. Right. Yeah, exactly. So... So, no, but we were, I was in such a great mood last night. This was Trump. First of all, Trump looks like he's reverse aging in office. See, most people he's look like the, he lost a little weight, absolutely lost weight. The stress of the job will do that. But you either can be a stress eater or a stress starver. And I think he's starving himself. It's only like three supersized fries a day now. He used to have five supersized fries. No, I'm just kidding. But he likes a lot of junk food. Um, so Trump looked great. He was very presidential. And don't say, oh, you say that like you're surprised. Look, he, he, he knows how to produce stuff. He, th- that was a well-produced event last night. It was humble. It was substantive. And it was to the point. This is my selection. I told you I was going to select from this list. They're all great people on the list. And I want to introduce Neil Gorsuch. He came. He said a few words. And that was it. And that was the moment that we have been waiting for. It's the beginning of the Trump court. It's it's a first step in the Trump court. We have a lot of justices who, frankly, need to retire. We have a lot of justices who have been there for decades or who are, you know, they're frankly barely hanging on. And Trump will probably have three picks on the court. He could have four, but he'll probably have three. That is my, that's what I'm going to say, including Gorsuch. And we were heartened to hear Nancy Pelosi's, well, overall reaction to the moment. It's a very uh, hostile appointment. If you breathe air, drink water, eat food, take medicine, or in any other way interact uh, with the courts, this is a very bad decision. I don't even understand. What is she? Was she talk, what was she mentioning in there? She's for, she had for clean water. It's. What, did he? What, no. What, what else did she say? Did she something? She said something about water and. And did she talk about animal rights and Neil Gorsuch? Did she, what, is she, what is she saying? If you breathe air, drink water, eat food, take medicine, or in any other way interact uh, with the courts, this is a very bad decision. I'm at this point. You just have to you have to scratch your head and you have to say, okay, Nancy, he was confirmed. By voice acclamation. They didn't even have to have an actual vote. It was like, yeah, everyone just said, okay, he's fine. And that was, by the way, uh, in, yeah, that was in July of 2006. Okay. And when he was, you know, when he was uh, off the bench in 2006, he published this book called The Future of Assisted Suicide and Euthanasia. He defended the intrinsic value of human life. 
You cannot deprive another of his or her right to life, even when life is inconvenient. And but the man was the man was confirmed by a unanimous voice vote. What does old Nancy Pelosi, who was last heard telling a a congressman, tell him you're Muslim? Can you hear that in the audio that we have from that botched microphone deal the other day at the court? Well, I'll talk about that later because someone texted me the video and somehow I missed that. I know I'm doing stream of consciousness, but just stay with me. There's a reason I'm saying this. And so it was an embarrassing moment. Can you hear now? No, that doesn't do any good. Does this work better? No. No, no, it doesn't. As staff, sound people. (laughs) That still is my favorite. Sound people. It was even bad. Okay, let's listen. What saddens me the most as a mom and a grandmother, though, is his uh, uh, hostility toward children uh, in school, children with autism. He has ruled uh, that they don't have the same rights under the IDEA, the children, uh, that, 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 that they could reach their intellectual and social oh, adjust, uh, advancement We're worried under that the you're law. Not... He has said that doesn't apply okay. to them. She doesn't. L- the woman is round the bend. As my surrogate dad, Chuck Carlson, would say, she's round the bend. Okay, so you thought they were going to stop at racist, sexist, misogynist, uh, xenophobic, uh, Islamophobic. Now they're against autistic children. The only people who are who are criticizing or bringing up autism in a negative way are the liberals who are casting aspersions or or saying things about um, Baron Trump. Those are the only people who are despicable on the issue of autism or any ch- child on the spectrum of autism. So don't talk about that. That is just, dis- but anyone who gets an inkling about, oh, the Democrats are going to work with Trump on the nomination. Oh, they, they are going to, they're going to be so worried because these Democrats who voted for him when he was uh, voted on uh, for the appellate court, uh, they're in tough districts or they're, they're in, in states that Trump won. How many of you actually think, listening to Pelosi, how many of you think uh, these people like Claire McCaskill are going to vote for Gorsuch? I'd be surprised if Claire McCaskill and Bob Casey voted for Gorsuch. Maybe, maybe, maybe they will. But he, they all coordinate on this stuff. Pelosi is coordinating with the Senate on the, on the anti-Gorsuch message. They want to raise a lot of money on Gorsuch, and they want to tar and feather him. And now he's against autistic children. This is a level uh, this is a level of mental depravity that I didn't even think uh, San Fran Grand Nan was capable of. I used to call her San Fran Grand Nan. Um, but this is this is now just it, it despicable doesn't even that, that doesn't even apply to this. Uh, sound people, sound people. Uh, we're going to take a break. Sound people, uh, staff, staff. Does this work better? No, no. I can hear staff, you. Can you hear us? People? We're just talking aloud. Just saying nothing. Just saying nothing. Just saying nothing. It's a very uh, hostile appointment. If you breathe air, drink water, eat food, take medicine, or in any other way interact uh, with the courts, this is a very bad decision.